This is one of those videos that realistically shouldn't need to exist. But after a recent conversation with a neighbour, and it's something I almost did when I first got my first EV back in 2015, scarily almost a decade ago, it's clearly something which is still happening. In fact, I see it all the time for the past nine years. And it's about these electric vehicle chargers and where to put them. They're more often than you would think put in the wrong place. Now that's not a major disaster. You can get them moved, but ultimately it means you have to pay for someone to move it. There's a cost there, which you're paying out, which I almost did. And well, I, I, if I'd have thought about it beforehand, I wouldn't have needed to. So effectively, this is about the placement of an electric vehicle charger. Let me take you back to 2015. I got my first EV, I had no experience, and installed is kind of the same really, because, well, they were quite new back in 2015, were EVs in general, and charge points weren't smart charge points, they didn't do solar divert and tariff integration, they were just essentially a plug. Now, when the installer came over to do a, a mini survey, if you will, the car was in this garage and the charge port was at this end. And I didn't think about it, as I said earlier, it, it just didn't enter my head when he said, where shall I put the charger? And I went, well, uh, you know, I guess somewhere around here is fine because the car's usually in the garage and that would be, that would be easy, we'll just plug it in. And well, we went on. Several days later, come to the day of the install, thankfully for me, it got delayed a few days because I wasn't there. I can picture it now, as he was marking everything up, I suddenly stood here and thought, hang on a second, if we have our EV here in the garage, charging is easy. But what if we park there? What if we park where that car is now, on our driveway? It won't reach. That's, that's not the best place for it. The best place for it is clearly at the front of the garage because that way both parking spaces, this one, the driveway, are accessible from that charger. The cable will reach to both sides. You may have to reverse in, you may have to drive in forwards, depending on the car, but they are both accessible. Going back to the neighbor that I spoke to a couple of weeks ago, got their first EV, having this very discussion about where to put it, and their house is very different. They've got a three car driveway, which runs down the side of the house. So think of it like one next to the road, one next to the house, one next to the back garden. He was going to put it next to the back garden because it made more sense in terms of the cable, in terms of where you would put it from the consumer unit. Well, what if your wife gets home first, which is 50-50 really, because they're both finished at the same time. Um, you would be parking in the middle, it won't reach. He would have the same issue that I would have had. And then that's a very good point. So he put the charger next to his house, so whether it's in position one, the cable would reach, position two next to the charger, or position three next to the road, wherever that car ended up, the cable would reach. So just that little bit of thought would have saved him, well, whatever it would cost for someone to come back, an installer, an electrician, to take that off the wall, potentially run another cable, and the cost of the materials as well, and put it in the place it should have been from day one. And there's also one other thing that's also worth mentioning. My first EV, its charge port was at the front. It was literally at the end of the bonnet, right in the middle of the front of the car. This car, you can clearly see, it's at the back, on the left side. Some are on the wing, some are at the other side, some are at the front, some are at the back. So that's worth factoring in as well. You won't always have the same EV. You may have visitors. So it might reach there, but would it reach at the front? Are you happy having to drive the car in instead of reversing it in? There's all sorts of variables that are worth taking into account. So ultimately, that's what this video is about and try and, try and hopefully don't make the mistake I nearly did. Now, if you are after a home battery system that integrates with an EV charger, then, well, the EV charger from Give Energy does that with my battery system. It does solar divert. I can tell it to go into my car, the excess solar, rather than export from the grid or go into my home batteries. I have full control. So if you're looking for one, have a look at Give Energy's website. Either way, thank you ever so much for watching. Hopefully that saved you some money. I'll see you soon.